Foundry gives you a lot of options. And one of those options is how do you wanna host it? Should you host it from your local machine or should you host it from the cloud using something like The Forge? Well, that's what we're gonna be talking about so that you find the best option for you. The first advantage you have when hosting from your local machine is it's free. You also don't have to worry about what times you play uh, or the server getting bogged down with too much traffic because it's just, again, from your computer, so it's the people that are connecting to that. Those are the main advantages with hosting from your local computer. That's why I've been hosting from my local machine for the last year and a half, though that might be changing and I'll talk about why in a little bit. Some of the disadvantages you have is it's potentially slower for other people and this varies depending on your internet speed, but because everyone has to connect to your computer, it could be slower than hosting it from the cloud. Though it'll always be faster for you hosting it from your local machine and if you run LAN parties, and that's probably the best option is hosting it from your local machine. Um, but I'm assuming people are playing over the internet which is why you're using a virtual tabletop. So it could potentially be slower for other people. You also have to worry about some port forwarding stuff and some technical issues letting everyone connect to your computer. And if you've never done that before, that could be a pain. And hosting locally might be a deal breaker just off of that if you're like, I just don't wanna have to deal with any of that. Your different service providers. It's also weird because I have a gaming router um, system or <laughs> depending on there's like a gaming <laughs> section. That's just, anyway. that's weird. I don't really feel like making one. But it's really not that hard and you can probably find some YouTube videos on how to do it. The other thing that can be a pain hosting it from your local machine is I have to remember to turn off my VPN. That has been a struggle in the past when I forgot that I still had my VPN on and it took me like 15 minutes of playing around to figure out why my players couldn't connect and then I was like, oh, Try now. So that's a little bit annoying too. The last con I have for hosting for your local machine is that the server's only up while you have it pulled up on your machine. This isn't a huge deal. You can just leave it going on your machine if you want. But again, if you wanna use a VPN, it means you can't have your VPN going while you're hosting. And it might not be an issue if it's just you using it, but if you share it with anyone or if you have any players or anyone else that's helping like build maps or work on it, you have to turn it on for them to be able to get on and build a map or add the walls or whatever it is that they're doing. Starting with some pros, uh, the first one is the exact opposite of one of the cons I just said. The server's always running, or at least whenever you want it to. You can log in and you can tell it to turn the server off. So if you don't want people getting on there, you can turn that off. But if you wanna turn it on, you just go turn it on uh, and it'll just stay running. You don't have to do anything, so that's pretty nice. Uh, you also don't have to really worry about port forwarding stuff, so the setup is easier, which I'm really going off of the Forge. It's the main cloud hosting option and the one that I would recommend. There are other options out there which I could do videos on, but their file management system, I just don't like as much. It's a little bit more complicated. And the Forge's UI is very simple, easy to use, and uploading or importing a world is pretty easy to do. If you need help with that on Friday, I have a video coming out that's a brief tutorial on how to transfer your worlds or upload it to the Forge. So setup's easier. Don't have to worry about a VPN. Uh, those are most of the advantages that you have. And potentially speed, We'll, we'll talk about that in a minute. Some of the disadvantages that you have is it does cost money. I'll put the pricing up here on the screen, but that is kind of a negative and that might be a deal breaker for some people. It's having to pay a monthly or yearly fee in order to use it. They do give a 14 day free trial though. So it's something that you might wanna look into if you're wanting to give it a try. The only other real con I have with the Forge is you might run into potential issues with storage. So they only give you five gigs of storage for your assets, which include your music. And so if you run music from there, that could potentially be a problem. I only use up about one gig, so not an issue for me for one world. But if you run your music not through Foundry, it probably won't be an issue. And they do have options to just increase your storage capacity if that does become a problem. Now let's talk about speeds. The reason that I have been hosting for my local machine is because about a year, year and a half ago, I had tried out the Forge and my players unanimously said it was faster running it from my local machine than running it from the Forge. Now this was probably because we played during peak time. So a lot of people on the server and it was just slow. It was a bad experience and we did not like it. I don't wanna have to sit there and wait 10 seconds for my rolls to show up. And particularly for me, it was way slower, but I expected it to be slower for me. My players telling me it was all slower for them, kind of an issue. I live on the West Coast. Some of them live in more of the middle of the United States and some were down in Mexico, though I think at the time he was actually living in Brazil. Anyway, so pretty spread out. Uh, and 
they all said it was faster running for my local machine. So that is what I have been doing for a while. But in the making of this video, I obviously got back on Foundry. I did some testing and I wanted to give more accurate numbers. Things have changed. Now, when I tested it, it was a Wednesday morning, so probably not the busiest time, but they said it was faster running it from the Forge than from my local machine. So they said it was almost instantaneous and I didn't really notice any difference from the Forge versus from my local machine. So that was a pretty good sign. And I even went back and did some testing on a Friday night, which I thought would probably be the biggest, busiest time. And I still didn't notice any delays. So I will probably be switching to the Forge because if it's running faster, that's actually the main thing for me. Uh, I want this to run as fast and as smooth as possible for all of my players. So. I'm now switching to cloud hosting. That was what prevented me from using it now that they seem to have faster speeds. I don't know if they upgraded their servers in the last year and a half or if they just have fewer players, but speeds are looking really good for us. And so I'm gonna be switching back to the Forge. If with more testing or playing around, I see that their speeds drop back down again, uh, I'll pin a comment to this video and let you know that I've seen their speeds drop. If you have any questions about hosting your games or anything else D&D related, feel free to let me know and I'll catch you next time.